Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things go over on the channel each and every single day and those three things include all the daily collection sets and their current cycles we're going to go over the extensive detail with the daily general challenges and last but not least we're going to go over madame nazar's location anyway let's go ahead and get started we got the fossils which will be a part of cycle number three loss jewelry at cycle number four arrowheads at cycle number one family heirlooms at cycle number six and then the coins are going to be a part of cycle number one now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. Definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can. If you guys want to be able to save five gold bars, this is the week to be able to go ahead and do that as you guys can actually uh, save yourself five gold bars because it is actually discounted this week. So is the uh, bounty hunter roll and also the... Um, greater roll so i'm so focused on what's happening behind me uh so american wildflowers we got three of those sets every single day that's going to be a part of cycle number six tarot cards cycle number six antique alcohol bottles will be a part of cycle number two and then last but not least we have the bird eggs which will be a part of cycle number six as well all right now let's go ahead and go over the daily general challenges in extensive detail let's go ahead and take a look at that uh i am going to only go over the daily general challenges in extensive detail so if your guys's daily rule challenges are different or fine and if you guys have any questions or any further questions regarding the daily general challenges by all means leave a comment down below because i can't help you guys out if you guys don't answer or ask those questions uh so we got two boars skinned so i would say there's a couple decent locations that you guys can actually go to number one actually going to be over here uh, blue water marsh area i can find a lot of boars over yeah actually another really good spot that i find them um, actually over you can find them next to roads kind of like the uh, south field flats area also over in the area those are probably some of the better options in my opinion moving on to the next one we've got five bullhead catfish caught uh the best location is actually just right outside of sand and knee and that's going to be here and right in this area, I like to go fishing for bullhead catfish. You can actually catch them up here in Log Rod too. Up to you guys if you guys would actually like to do this at. They are more attracted to corn, but any food bait will typically work. There are other fish in the area. So you have a high probability of catching other types of fish as well. You're not just going to catch a bullhead catfish in the area, so you're going to have to be a little bit patient. You can also use the special spin also, but um, it's kind of up to you if you go, what you guys would like to use. But this is my go-to location for bullhead catfish. Moving on to the next one for the day. We got a distance of 50 to 80 traveled by coach or wagon. You can either pull out like the bounty hunting wagon um, or your even like your hunting wagon. Either one of those will work. Otherwise, you can just like rob or steal a coach or a wagon that's basically riding by in a major city. Take it for a nice little bit of a joy ride if you guys would like to be able to do that. That one's pretty easy to get done. Next one, hunt the leader completed. You do have to be in a posse in this one, typically, in order to get started. Then whoever the posse leader, then you just need to go ahead and start that and hunt the leader. It's like five to eight minutes to actually complete um, that. We got five non-player enemies killed from cover. Um, you could do like we saw earlier, the bootlegger uh, missions. So you can either do all those like directly through Maggie or find them naturally throughout the world. Gang hideouts, poacher missions, like that are things that you don't affect your honor. But if you don't care about your honor being affected, ultimately what you can do is just go to like these thing or um, Van Horn. There's lots of enemies there that you can easily find cover and get those killed. Three player kills with thrown weapons in free roam events. So this is going to be, I, we haven't had this in quite some while, but I think a while. Anyway, the best PvP ones, in my opinion, are going to be like Cold Dead Hands, Railroad Baron, Dispatch, Rider. Um, there is another one, but I always forget that one because I'm up anymore. Um, that's just me. So those are the better ones. All the other ones, like the Condor Egg and things like that, aren't they're P, but they're not killing other players. Then we have to visit a shop in Rhodes. That's just a little bit south of where I'm at. And if you guys are game it's right down in this area i like to go to the butcher in any of these you actually never have to get off of the horse in order to get to that store pretty fantastic 
All right, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of them. Like I said earlier, we're not going to go over these in detail, but if you guys have questions, go ahead and uh, ask those down in the comments down below. Uh, three bounty targets lassoed from horseback, three bounty targets looted, one hard or legendary bounty mission completed, 20 carcasses donated within a 10 minute period, been sold to a local buyer, six perfect carcasses donated to Crips. Collector roll, we have three arrowheads found, two collectibles found with a metal detector, collectibles found with a shovel. Let's go ahead and show you guys right where you can find Madame Nazar for today. She's going to be in the northern part of the map today. If she ever is, she's going to be right here north of Ansburg Ridge. There you go. For all of your Madame Nazar needs, you can find her north of Ansburg. Moving on to the Moonshiner roll. Got $200 of money made from Moonshine sold. One Moonshine sold. At least five minutes left. One Moonshine sold. At least eight bottles intact. Naturalist roll, seven crafted or cooked at a wilderness camp, one legendary photographed, and then wetland animal samples taken. That is everything done, gone over, and covered. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do, leave a comment down below. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.